Welcome to what is web development. Web development starts right here with you having a look at a website. This makes you the so-called client. And as a client, you are displaying this website entirely in the browser because you use the browser to have a look at this website. But how does this work? How can you see the information that you have on the website? Well, basically, by typing a URL, this could be academy.com for example, you are sending a so-called request right here to a server. And with this request, you tell the server that you want to receive information from it because you want to display the website. And once this request was successful, you get a response from the server with the information you need to display the website. And that's basically what web development is about. It's about creating a website and making sure that this flow works correctly for your website. Now, there are two core concepts that we have to understand when we talk about web development. The first part is this one right here. It's the so-called front-end. And as you can see it, this runs in the browser only. So that's all the information you can see and access right now in your browser. Now, talking about information, what information is that? Well, basically, it's code. And it's a specific type of code. The core part of each website, and that's a must, without that part, no website would work, is HTML. HTML is basically responsible for the content being displayed on the website, so the text or images, for example. In addition to HTML, we can also get CSS. CSS is also code, and this code is responsible to add style to our website because normally we want to browse beautiful websites and although a website would work with HTML only, browsing better looking websites is a better user experience and therefore definitely something that we want. In addition to CSS, we can also receive JavaScript, which basically adds logic to our website. This could be, for example, a logic that makes sure that you enter a valid email address if you sign in to a user account on a specific website. But the important thing is that the website generally works with HTML only and that all the code you can see right here runs in the browser. And this can be a problem because talking about the user account again, if you have a user account at an online retail store with your email, your password and your credit card information, this is not information that you want to display in the browser. This is information that should be stored safely somewhere else. And this somewhere else brings us to the second core concept of web development. It's the so-called backend, the server side. Because this is the server side code which cannot be accessed by the browser. Now, as for the front end, we also need code or a specific language on the back end to make sure that it all works correctly. And the language on the back end can be Node.js, could be PHP or Ruby on Rails, just to name some. In addition to the server side language, we also need a database because we want to store and manage data. Example databases could be MySQL, SQL Server, or MongoDB. And with the combination of the language and the database, you have the backend of your website. And that's actually the core concept of web development. So as a web developer, you can now decide if you want to become a front-end web developer, a back-end web developer, or if you want to do both, which will turn you into a full-stack web developer. And this is web development.